Well, respondents in the Pennsylvania Fair Funding Trial will not appeal a February Commonwealth Court decision that ruled the state's education funding system unconstitutional. And our Pennsylvania State Capital Correspondent, Brendan. Well, hey there, Renata and Nick. Good evening. The deadline for lawmakers to appeal the case was Friday at midnight. Now, this 15 month long trial concluded in favor of petitioners who argued throughout the trial that the state has failed to provide a thorough and efficient public education for all Pennsylvania students. The 800 page ruling found that students in school districts with low property values and incomes are deprived of the same resources and opportunities of children in wealthier ones. Petitioners say Pennsylvania schools are underfunded by billions of dollars and that the time for waiting is over. They say declining to appeal means it's time for state leaders to focus on restructuring Pennsylvania schools funding. The court has made it clear that a constitutionally compliant system is one that addresses both entrenched inequities and the adequacy of state funding. By declining to appeal, state leaders have committed to fulfilling their constitutional obligation and to changing the life outcomes of generations of public school students. And petitioners also say it's not just up to lawmakers, but it's also up to the Basic Education Funding Commission to finish the job and not just talk about how the pie should be divided, but to really make sure that the funding is there that is required now by the Constitution. We'll have more details on this up on our website, WENY.com. But for now, reporting live at the State Capitol in Harrisburg for WENY News, I'm Brendan Scantlin. We're not a Nick. Back to you.